Do you know how to test this component and even its purpose? Guys, this is one of the most important electronic component in every motherboard. If this component fails, the entire board will stop working. This is a Meliar polyester film capacitor, commonly used in EMI separation, signal coupling, decoupling, and timing circuits. This tiny green component may look innocent, but did you know it can cause a weird noise, circuit malfunction, or even stop at all power supply from working? Today, we are testing Malier polyester capacitor using the multimeter the right way, and you can understand its working principle and its purposes. So guys, welcome to the episode number 29, where we gonna dive in into Mailer polyester capacitor testing. Please remember that all videos I made are based on your comments and your requests. That's why I have decided to start testing components based on your comments. You get to choose what I test next. Just leave your suggestion in the comments and the component that gets the most mentions will be the one I test in the next video. I am reading all your comments, so don't hesitate to share your ideas. And please, if you enjoy these videos and want to support my work, the best way to say thank you for me is by liking and sharing the video. It really helps a lot. So guys, let's learn about electronics together at a high level, one component at a time. So before starting this episode, which component should I test next? Please enter comments. Okay, so let's get started. Let's begin with the theory part. As you know, always my videos are divided in two parts. A theory part and a practical part. If you are a professional, you can move on directly to the practical part. But I advise you to watch the two parts in order to understand 100%, especially for this kind of component that are not easy to test and not easy to understand. So let's begin with the first question. What is exactly a Malier capacitor or very specifically 2A152J? Basically, this is just a lot number, but the working principle for Malier capacitors is always the same. So guys, if we want to break down basically this reference, 2A here means series, type or rated voltage range. And of course, can vary by brand. 100 volt to 250 volts. So here, 152, this is a capacitance code. Means 15 followed by two zeros. Means 1000 picofarad or 1.5 nanofarad. And guys here, J means tolerance, plus minus 5%. Of course, the type of this capacitor, as I told you, this is a polyester film capacitor, also called Malayar capacitor. Okay, what is the use cases? This capacitor basically is used in EMI separation, signal filtering, audio crossover networks, and power supply noise separation. And of course, guys, this is a no polarized capacitor. Here, as you can see, we have C113. This is a capacitor. Here we have its symbol, a normal capacitor symbol. So remember, this is not a polarized capacitor. Means for beginner, it can be placed either in either direction. Okay, no problem. Okay, what is the working principle? The working principle for this capacitor, of course, is very simple. It stores small amounts of electrical energy and quickly releases it 
helping to smooth signals, block DC and suppress high frequency interference. That's why it is used right next to controllers, as you can see, next to controllers and transformers. Okay, guys, now this is the most important question. How to test a Mailer polyester capacitor like this one? I'll show you how. Of course, guys, the required tools is a digital multimeter with the capacitance mode, as you can see, farad option, especially nanofarad or picofarad. Basically, here I have nanofarad and microfarad, no problem. Okay, so this is the only required tool is a multimeter with a capacitance mode and of course guys to test this kind of capacitor you can remove it from the board and test it outside the board or just remove one leg of the capacitor from the circuit to avoid false reading but here in electronic repair basics don't worry i teach you how to test components even on the boards and i show you what is the mistakes that you have to avoid for fast checking and fast testing. Okay guys, let's set the multimeter first to the capacitance mode because this capacitor is a 1500 picofarad. That means 1.5 nanofarad. I'm going to select 20 nanofarad in the multimeter. And of course, if we test the capacitor, we should get 1.5 nanofarad okay okay let's test it right now okay guys we can connect the red probe and the black probe to each leg no problem because this is not a polarized capacitor let's for example connect the black probe here and the red probe in this terminal we should get 1.5 nanofarad okay let's check oh i get zero my friend why don't worry just because I forgot to move the red probe to the side, to the capacitance bridge, okay? So I have to remove the probe here. Now I'm here, as you can see, we have CX. Please, for anyone who has this kind of multimeters, don't forget to move the red probe from this side to this side. But for digital multimeter, I guess no problem so okay let's check i have to find 1.5 nanofarad let's check i get zero this is not normal let's try in the sides okay i get zero my friends zero means what means the capacitor is bad this is a bad capacitor i should get 1.5 nanofarad this one should be replaced with another capacitor with the same reference 2E152J means 1.5 nanofarad or 1500 picofarad. Guys, by the way, let's check other capacitors just to find out. Okay, we have here another capacitor. We have here 472G. G basically is 5% tolerance. 47, these two numbers, 47 means 47 with two zeros. It means this is a 4.7 nanofarad or 4720 picofarad. Okay, we have another one here, another polyester capacitor with this capacitance we have 104 four is four zeros it means this is a 100 nanofarad or a 100 thousand picofarad so guys remember the capacitance always the the, the tool number is number of zeros and by the way guys if your multimeter doesn't support the capacitance you can switch to resistance mode and when using the resistance mode, the multimeter should show a rising value than stabilize or open, not a short, not zero. If it reads very low resistance, means shorted, bad capacitor. So here is some very important tips for you guys. Capacitor damage 
can cause buzzing sounds, unstable voltage or no power. Always inspect for bulging, cracks or discoloration. Okay? If you get any burned or cracked capacitor, replace it without even test it. Third, use a high quality replacement capacitor to avoid EMI and power instability. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to follow our journey from 1 to 1000 component testing. And please comment below what component should we test next. So guys, I hope you understand. Thank you very much. Please don't forget that our challenge is to reach 1000 component testing. That's why I need your support. And the best way to say thank you for, for me is by liking and sharing the video. Thank you very much and see you with another component.